I got the new Lawson wheels for the GTR ready to be installed. So first, we are heading down to my buddy shop, Innovative Speed Shop, getting them ceramic coated. And let me get the camera real quick. A little change of video from what you just saw. Uh, yeah, we got Mike here holding one of the wheels. How are you liking this? Yeah, it's not comfortable at all. So that's what yeah. you do with your brother. You know? <laughs> Yeah, but we got one do it here. For the video. Do it for the vlog. Yeah. And then we got two in the back and then one in the trunk. And uh, you guys are going to see these wheels very shortly. I've seen them, Mike's seen them. What do you think? Oh, I love them. Yeah. I actually forgot what they look like, but I think they're pretty good. <laughs> they are going to look freaking awesome. I've owned this car over two and a half years. And I've always wanted new wheels, but I just never really found what I wanted. And uh, I found what I wanted. So let's hurry up and get to the shop. <laughs> So this is the first time I've driven the GTR really since I've tuned the Supra. It doesn't feel that fast. Like, I don't know. I'm just used to that crazy torque in the Supra. This car, I don't know. It feels weird. I need to drive it like out on some fun roads. Maybe we'll do that once the wheels are all installed because it's feeling weird. It's not as fast as the Supra as far as low speed stuff as you guys have seen in previous videos. But anyway, that's enough yapping. Let's hurry up and get these unveiled because I know you guys are waiting to see these. It's been over two and a half years. So let's just hurry up and get there. All right, we have made it to the shop and Mike is having a great time being stuck on the inside. And we got even VIP parking. And uh, you guys can get a little glimpse of the color, but that's all you're gonna see for you right it. now. Got it. All right. All right, so with the wheels all out, we actually have a mini surprise. So Neil's son is actually a fan of the channel. And uh, we got you, buddy. We got you a hoodie and a Tacoma t-shirt. Thank you. No problem. There we go, <laughs> check that out. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, we have kid size, so check that out. But uh, Neil, you guys have helped us out with a lot of fun things. and shown us some cool Thank things, so at least we could do. <laughs> But awesome. He's in <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, had to throw that in today's video. But uh, now, I think it might be time to unveil the Vossen wheels. All right, guys, here we go. Ready for the unveil? Let's see what these look like. So those are the new Boston wheels for the GTR. Of course, they're finished off in bronze. They are gonna look so sick against the paint. We got 20 by 11s and 20 by 10s. They're the Boston HF5s. Super sick looking. And you can see the front and the rear right now. So we got a half inch wider than stock and then the rear one's super concave. I'll go over more specs once we test fit them on the car. But these things are gonna look so sick. But uh, definitely check out Boston. They have so many insane wheels. And if you guys remember, I actually had Vossens on my 370Z and then those same ones went on the GTR for like two weeks and then I sold them. So Vossen wheels are definitely the ones to go with. But now, to keep these things looking perfect, we're at Neil's shop, Innovative Speed Shop, and we are going to ceramic coat them, which this whole car has been ceramic coated by Innovative. The wheels and calipers are all coated. And the great thing about that is with all the brake dust that this car makes, it makes these things so much easier to clean up because brake dust, as you guys know, is a pain in the butt. But he's gonna start off using the waterless wash, which we use so much of this just to clean them good, we'll get them prepped, and then start coating them. So your wheel's gonna be half finished and half not That's finished. That's why I said if, this, if one wheel doesn't look good, it's the one that I did. You should have got five and a fourth to fifth one to practice with. Yeah. So we got the wheel. 
vehicle's all coated up. They're gonna move some cars around. So we're gonna get a quick startup of the GTR. Always sounds good. Nice little echoes we got in here. But he's just gonna pull that out. And then we got a C8 Corvette. We'll get that started up. Neil's new Jeep, which actually Mike and I are checking out his Jeep. This is exactly what Mike is looking for, and we might have an awesome uh, way to get a better Jeep than what we were looking at. So Mike's already loving this thing. <laughs> but then they're moving the C8, and then we're gonna test fit the wheels on the GTR, and that'll be the first time seeing what they're gonna look like, because that is gonna look so cool. <laughs> Not too bad sounding, even stock. Uh, nice echo, of course. But we got a full blacked out C8 Corvette. I've never actually seen a black one before. Pretty good looking car. And then now we got some cars shuffled around. Mike's pulling in the GTR. One of the last times we'll see it with the stock wheels. Yeah, that's good. All right, so now let's test fit them. We got a low profile jack and uh, see how these things look. Now, let's see if we get a front wheel. And real quick, actually, shout out to Diego at Boston. I'll have his Instagram down below. He helped me spec these out. He owns a GTR and knows exactly what specs are good for this car. So that was awesome being able to work with him on ordering these. Moment of truth. <laughs> and I am considering, or pretty much going to change the paint caliper, change the color of the paint on the caliper to a different color. So they look a little weird, that's why. All right, there we go. First look at them, dang. Those are looking so sick, holy crap. I am already loving that color. Wow. It doesn't look bad with the caliper. It actually doesn't, like, that's actually not that bad. But comment down below, what are you guys thinking about that? Dang, that is looking so sick. So you can obviously see the rear and the front. These are 20 inches in diameter, of course. And then the front specs, there's a badge on the back that it tells you everything. So these ones are 20 by 10 plus 25 for the front. And then if we take a look at the rear, the rear is a 20 by 11 plus five in the rear, super deep. Uh, both of these are super deep for the concave, but we got five offset in the back. So it's gonna be pretty aggressive. And if you guys remember the Boston wheels I had on the Nismo Z that I had on this for two weeks, the front wheels are the exact same specs that I had earlier previously, just the rears are a little bit different being that these are 11 versus 12. And these are gonna fit the stock tires too, which is really nice. All right, there is the rear. Dude, the color looks so good, like, oh my gosh. And as far as the fitment goes, now obviously the wheels are drooping at full droop right now, so it's sticking out, I don't know, a half an inch to an inch, but you can already tell the kind of fitment we're gonna be talking about. I mean, this is literally gonna be perfect flush fitment. The other bosses I had on here for the few weeks were almost perfect. Given that these are not quite as wide, we had to do slightly more aggressive offset. I think my other ones were plus 15 or something like that. So these being an inch not as wide, need to be a little bit more aggressive offset. That way they fit nicely. But already, oh my gosh, I cannot believe. That is gonna look so sick. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm taking a look at the first look with the GTR sitting on the Boston wheels. I definitely am really happy with the color. I think this bronze is perfect. And then my goal is to end up doing these calipers to match my red leather seat. So I think that'll look super cool, kind of having that red and bronze vibe going. But I'm really happy with it. I know the fitment's gonna be perfect. This is gonna be spot on. But this is so sick look. I'm really, really excited. But that's going on tomorrow, so that'll be in tomorrow's video. Stay tuned for that. So now, super quickly, we're gonna reinstall these and start heading home. All right, there we go, back to stock. And uh, Mike, you always get the short end, it, it seems. Yeah. But I feel like you should be doing this. <laughs> yeah. All right, well guys, we we're gonna head out. Uh, shout out to Neil once again. Thank you for uh, hooking it up on the coating. Um, guys, contact them below, I'll have all their info. Now, let's rip it home in the GTR. Oh, this place has such a sick echo.
time now we are heading home and I think that is about gonna wrap it up for today's video huge shout out once again to innovative speed shop knocking out the ceramic coating and then seriously check out Boston wheels they have so many awesome wheels I've always been a fan of their designs and given I had Boston's on the Nismo Z and then the same ones were on this GTR for a little bit I just had to go with them again and check out Diego Boston he helped me out so much on Instagram he is like their marketing guy expert on all the Z cars especially because he owns a GTR and owned a 370 when I had mine so a huge shout out to him for helping me spec these wheels out and get them done right because I am really excited now to have these sick wheels uh, but that's going to be it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it give it a massive thumbs up smash that subscribe button if videos like this are things you'd like to see but I'll see you guys in the next video. Next video.